Hey golfers, it's Dave from fit to Golf. Today I'm doing a review of two lightweight graphite shafts, both from UST Mamiya, the iron from the DHI series, and the Recoil 660. Now the reason why I chose to review these shafts is one of them is going to go into the mid-irons of a new set of clubs that I'm building. I sold my KE4S's, both sets, because of course I had one in graphite and, and one in steel. Uh, still recommend those clubs quite a bit, but I was so impressed when I hit the uh, Malpe STIOS earlier this year to do a review. I knew that I had to build the set, and, and this is what I chose to do to uh, fill out my fall bag of clubs. Now, the reason why I'm only looking for a shaft for the mid irons for this set is that I have some shaft pulls, also UST Mamiya product the uh, Proforce Gold uh, RV275 shafts for the 8 through gap wedge. Uh, now these are a discontinued shaft, but I really like it. fits my swing well. It's, they're a little stiffer to flex and a little heavier than the stated weight, and that gives it some stability that's great for those scoring irons. Okay, so in terms of the specifications of the clubs, the DHI uh, iron series. This is the value line for UST Mamiya. Shafts come in at around $15 each. Uh, this is a regular flex shaft. The butt frequency, my frequency analyzer tested out to be closer to a senior flex. It's advertised to have a mid to high ball flight. The raw weight is 68 grams and the torque is 4.2. For the Recoil 660, this came in a little heavier at 71 grams. Also an R flex tested closer to a soft R on my frequency monitor. It uh, is also advertised to have a mid to high ball flight and a torque of 4.3. Now the interesting thing about the technology of the recoil is they're manufactured to perform like steel but with better energy transfer and better feel. Uh, this is especially important if you're looking for a heavyweight graphite shaft because you can lose those things as, as you try to uh, retain the stiffness that you can get with, with steel. Um, but it's interesting, the shaft uh, looks different. It kind of even sounds a little metallic when you tap on it. Uh, also a nice uh, nice looking shaft. A little bit pricier though than the DHI series. Uh, these come in at uh, just under $25. So when I was testing the shafts at the range and I'm using the Club Connect system here so I can interchange the head. I hit the DHI series first. Um, this felt great, had, had a nice ball flight, I would say, uh, high but not ballooning high, um, very accurate and very long. After that I hit the recoil, this also felt great, uh, noticeably lower ball flight um, and uh, not quite as long as you'll see in the numbers in a second, but felt great and performed really well, both very accurate. In terms of the numbers, uh, the DHI was uh, ball speed of 108, um, smash factor 1.35, carry distance of 156, that's six yards further than I was getting when I tested this, uh, this head with the, uh, the Kurokage, which is a shaft I really like. Good launch angle for a 30 degree 7 uh, iron at 18.3. Uh, uh, and the spin is 5700. Now, remember, we're, we're talking about a six iron loft here. That's not bad. Um, and a peak height of 80 feet. For the recoil, a uh, similar ball speed, 107 smash factor, just down the tad, 1.3. A little less carry, 153. Same launch angle, but look at the, the spin number and the, and the peak height, 5100 spin. And uh, that's really more like a five iron and uh, 75 peak height. So that was more of a medium piercing ball flight there. Now I should add that uh, at the range I was using the stickers so the Mevo would pick up the spin numbers and I hit six shots with each and I removed the, the, the two worst shots to give a, a comparable um, data set. Okay so in terms of my rating and pros and cons, I'll just start with the rating right away. I will give both these shafts a birdie. They both performed really, really well. Uh, they felt great, they have good distance, they're stable. But in terms of a winner for me, for my purposes, I'm going to go with the, the DHI Iron series. It just felt great. I got great performance out of it. It's exactly what I'm looking for in terms of ball flight for these clubs. 
Now, I would use the recoil in a build with a more traditionally lofted set of irons because that's when you're really going to want that little maybe lower spin and, and piercing ball flight um, in, uh, in your iron set. So I would highly recommend both clubs, but for me, for this purpose, I'm going with the DHI series. The other factor involved here is cost. Now, I'm only building three irons uh, with, with this particular set, but you know, at uh, $10 more a shaft, that's significant over, the, over a set of clubs. Still very affordable. So uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let me know what you think of the review and also let me know what other ideas you have about what you might want to see reviewed um, or other content on the channel. I hope you're getting to play some golf out there this season and uh, please stay positive.